Cabinet is slated to retable the bill to effect the rationalization of government agencies with the intent of administratively rearranging agencies to improve efficiency in service delivery. Parliament shall be charged with amending and repealing the laws to allow for the merging of government agencies, especially those formed by an act of Parliament. And the cost of administration uh, also was getting higher and higher. So in an effort to cut down the costs of administration. The move intends to eliminate duplication of roles and ensure agencies are accommodated into their mother ministries without affecting the status of service delivery. The intention is to bring back the NADs into agriculture ministry. It can be a department. Yes, eventually some people might, in the, the arrangement, there are those positions that say you will find the ministry has a procurement officer, NADS has a procurement officer. For some of those positions, some people maybe may not fit into the new arrangement. But uh, the discussion was those who fail to fit in the new arrangement should be posted elsewhere within the government, especially those common cadre positions. The Minister for ICT and National Guidance stated that some parallel institutions in government will not be considered in this phase of rearrangement. Mr. Kawa was asking about the, you were concerned about the agencies under judiciary, like the anti-corruption court and the state house anti-corruption units, such as agencies. Those do not fall directly under what we are considering in this rationalization. So those... Those will continue. On the other hand, the government plans to relocate persons in Ibududa and Elgon areas where they have suffered the consequences of floods and landslides to safe areas free from natural calamities. We, did, we took a decision that each family starting with the Ibududa area will be given two acres of land and 10 million shillings. We also have an organization called the Give Directory. I think they also offered to provide 7 million shillings. But this advice goes to the rest of the country where people are settled on the mountain slopes, like in the greater Gwenzori, in the greater Chigezi. People should shift from those slopes of mountains to areas which are flat and areas which carry less risk. As students return to school, government has reiterated that only licensed and authorized schools are permitted to reopen. Dr. Chris stated that school leaders considering striking over pay should use civil means to address their grievances rather than impacting the learning of students. And uh, our appeal as government is that parents disregard those announcements and send your children to school next week. Teachers report to school and teach normally. He maintains that government will enhance public servants' remuneration, including teachers in a phased manner. Ivan Kahua, UBC News.